Oh, come on. It's only 5K. It'd be a laugh. Yeah, you can say that again. No, I'm afraid the answer is no. <laughs> yeah, don't you have some shelves to stack or something, honey? Hey, listen, this is a win-win situation for you. Yeah? How do you figure that, mate? Because it's running. People getting fit. It's a great opportunity for the gym. Sharif's already handing out leaflets. You could have some T-shirts printed. You and Cal leading from the front. It's great publicity. All right, go on, go ahead. Excellent. Here's the form. Come prepared. Dib, dib, dib. See you later. <laughs> dib, dib, dib. dib, dib. I think I'm going to nick some or what? Oh, don't be stupid. Right, every time I look up, he's got his big beady eyes on me. Oh, Maddie, give it a rest. What is your problem? For me, no, I don't have a problem. My debt, leave it. Right, you think I've got Marmite stuff down my jeans and shredders up my top, do no, you? No, I don't think that at all. Dev, I'm really sorry. Hey, what's going on? What are you apologising to him for? Hey, that's enough. Oh, but it's got nothing to do with you, so leave it. Yeah, it's none of your business. Yeah, well, I'm making it my business. Of course you are. Because he's... Because I don't like the way you're speaking to my friend or my daughter. You know what, you can just... My do... day. See, even she's had enough of you. Until you can learn to speak to people properly, no one wants to hear what you've got to say. And try not to have a fight with yourself on the way home. <sighs> In a horse carriage pulled by four. Well, well, what? Well, call me stupid, my dear, but I think you owe me an apology. <sighs> right back at you. What, me apologise to you? For what, nearly getting me sacked? Not for siding with them. No, for not siding with you. And you know why? Because you was completely in the wrong. Well, so it's OK for your boss to look down his nose at me and treat me like some kind of thief or something. Have you heard yourself? Obviously, Dev's going to be suspicious of you. You know why? Because you stole from him. Dev, he's not in the wrong here. It's not his fault, my dear. I don't want to hear what she's got to say about it. They don't even know me. Yeah. Whose fault's that, eh? Because you can't make people think the worst of you and then complain when they do. That's the easy way out. I've got to get back to work. So... Lennox Lewis not with you? No, she's at home. Or at least she was last time I spoke to her. We was meant to be going to town, but... It's Dev all right. Oh, well, he couldn't resist his little pep talk either. Well, it's apparent it's in our DNA. Well, it all boils down to me being too nice for my own good. He's not even keen about her hanging about in the shop anymore. Well, can you blame him? If you've got any sense, you'll do as he says. You don't want to go losing your job just because that one's got a temper on her. Yeah, but that's easy for you to say, Mum. I'm going to spend the rest of my days now wondering what she's up to. Do you want my advice? No, I do not. So? No, Mum, it's not a problem. I will sort it. I hope this isn't a bad time. No, we're just finishing our tea. Oh, smells nice. Shepherd's pie. Oh, I love shepherd's pie. My day. What, I'm starving. Then we're going to watch Lethal Weapon, the director's cut. Yeah, he's talked me into it. Tim Knight. I take it you've not heard the news. Heard <coughs> what? My granddad's had an accident. He's broke his leg. Oh, my God. Apparently he's not been taking his medication and he passed out. His neighbour found him this morning. Well, why isn't your dad telling me this? Because he's already on the way to Germany. I'm sorry? Yeah, he reckons he should never have left him. Well, when did he leave? About 20 minutes ago. He's going to get the 12 o'clock ferry. Well, this is a complete mess. No, there is still some good news. Not now, my dear. What not now? Kevin has given me a job. You enjoying that? It's amazing. Do you don't want some? No, I'm good. How's my granddad? Well, he's okay, all things considered. He thinks your dad overreacted, but what can you do? Sophie, can you help me with the dishes? What? She wants to talk behind my back, but go on, I don't mind. And another portion wouldn't go amiss. What was your dad thinking? Oh, I don't know. He probably wasn't, was he? Because you know what? He's probably finding it hard, Mum, because everything's changed for him. You're making this about me and Tim. Sophie, I don't need a lecture from you. I'm more concerned about you two home alone and that so-called job. You've got to be joking. 
Now, I don't think it's a good idea on both accounts. How can a job not be a good idea? My dad's clearly trying to keep her out of trouble. Oh, so you admit she's trouble. You're boring. She's a liability. That's your opinion. Does Tyrone know? Guess so. You guess so? Look, I don't see your problem with the cleaning cars. Well, we'll tell that to Tyrone in a week. Scratch that, make it a day. Well, I'll just have to prove you wrong then, won't I? Your dad must have been off his rocker. Why? Because he believes in her and you don't.